feels very um very exciting actually and very 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 um very humbling uh and i i'm i'm yeah i'm really um uh, i'm really delighted did you know that you're gonna get it i i knew um a couple of weeks before the announcement that uh my name had been put forward and that the not the uh the committee that does these things had put my name forward for it so um yeah but i was not allowed to tell anybody until today and um why do you think that you got the MBE, you know, you said that you were nominated, just explain to us what for. Okay, so I was nominated in my role as Chair of Local Trust, uh, and Local Trust runs the largest ever funded programme of community activity called the Big Local Programme, which was set up in 2012 by the National Rotary Community Fund. Um, and there are 150 communities across England where power, money and responsibility is being put directly into the hands of communities for them to change their communities. And it's an amazing programme to be involved with it and, and, I, and through it I get to meet thousands, hundreds and thousands of dedicated community activists. Um, but I also think I'm getting it because I've turned 60 this year and I've retired uh, from uh, nearly 40 years of working in, with charities and community groups across uh, the country. And for um, Big Local and what you do um, in Scarborough, why why do you do what you do? Why did you decide to, 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 to be part of the voluntary sector and help communities in Scarborough? Okay, so um, I, I, was, uh, I was born um, son of a vicar uh, and born into a church community and community was a really important part of my, uh, my growing up. Uh, before I left London, I spent 30 odd years working in uh, all sorts of different communities, starting working with homeless people on the streets of London, had a midlife crisis when I ran an animal rescue charity for a few years, uh, and ended up running an organisation called London Funders that, amongst other things, responded to the uh, tragedy of Grenfell Tower, and we coordinated the, the philanthropic uh, response to that. Um, and when we moved to Scarborough, I got involved in the community up here, and I joined the Border Local Trust, which is when I found out that there was a big local in at Barraclay. Um, and uh, it's, um, it's been great seeing the amazing work that the team at Barraclay have done for the community there. Uh, the park that they've built, uh, the small grants programmes, the, the annual uh, ice rink in the summer, the dog show that, that they were always trying to get me to come and judge. But I ref I'm not going to. <laughs> I've done that before, and that, that way lies madness. Um, and that's Barrowcliff is one of the um, hundred, say 150 big local areas across England. Yeah, you just mentioned about the the dog show. We <laughs> <laughs> we have um, sort of you know covered that um, in the past. But have you got any sort of big memorable moments from you know from being here in Scarborough and you know to do with the big local? Is there any sort of standout memory for you? I went, uh, when I took over as chair of local trust, um, the, our chief executive, Matt, came up for a visit uh, and we went to actually meet the, the team at Barraclay. Um, and they, they showed us what they were doing, they took us around. Um, and I think the thing that I was most um, impressed by was the children's park that they've developed. Um, and, and I don't, and it's just really, it, it, you know, it, I, don't, I can't remember how long ago they, they did it, but it, it, it looks today as good as new as it did when it was first put in. And that, I think, is just a testament to the, 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 the philosophy of, of Big Local, which is if you put money and control into the hands of communities, they look after themselves. They know, and we saw that during COVID. I mean, one of the most amazing um, positive things that came out of COVID in Scarborough was just the way that the community, as a as a as a community, responded to the needs of of, of the town. Uh, yeah. So with the MBE now, then, are you going to um, celebrate? Are you going to change anything? You know, like some people change their name on the passport, or whatever, or their driving license. Are you going to put MBE on them? I don't know if you can. I don't know. Um, I, no, I don't think so. I mean, I I, I may. Um, 
I may put it in my signature on my emails, but um, you know, I don't. Yeah, I, no, I, I, um, I hadn't really thought about that actually. <laughs> I'm going out to dinner on, on t it, this evening to to, her, to celebrate with my partner and a friend. Uh, we're going to eat me. So it's not. So you, so you're remaining humble. You know, it's not going to change who you yeah, are just because you got an MBA. It, no, it's not. No, no. Um, you, you can ask other people whether I'm humble or not. <laughs> if, my, if my wife was sitting here, she wouldn't say <laughs> that. Um, but no, it's not going to change who I am. Uh, and I, I, I love being part of the community in Scarborough.